Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again to do another Blu-ray update. It's been a little, a little while, but uh, I have about eight movies to show you. So let's get started. First one you may have seen in my uh, toilet tag video. Uh, the movie is The Seven Year Itch. It stars Marilyn Monroe. This is one of those movies where I had no intention of, of buying it. I was at Movie Stop and I was like, let me look around. And I saw this on the shelf and it kind of jumped out at me. I love the cover. It's so cool. I've, I've never seen a Marilyn Monroe movie before, so I was like, let me try it out. It was only uh, eight bucks. And uh, apparently this is like one of her most well-known movies, so it was, let me get it. Uh, it's it, it was it was cool. It was uh, nice seeing a movie from this era, which this was shot in uh, 1955. So um, I was really surprised at the color, how bright it was for a movie so old. But uh, it was entertaining. It was kind of like about the, uh, the the girl next door who was uh, Marilyn Monroe, and and uh, the guy who's uh, next door is uh, a married guy with a kid, and it's about temptation. And is he gonna? Uh, tempt his uh, his sexual appetite with her, if that made any sense whatsoever. But it it was cool. It was different. Um, I don't know if I'd go out there and say you gotta buy it, but if you find this for cheap and you really want to see Marilyn, then check it out. I mean, I I enjoyed her work. It was she was different. She was uh, she was unique. So that was cool. Uh, this next movie I did not like at all. I absolutely hated this movie. Uh, and I know most people will love it, but it's uh, Les Mis. Uh, it, this is a musical, for sure, 100%. Uh, it is almost three hours long, and it's about... Actually, let me, let, me make sh let me find out exactly how long. It's two hours and 38 minutes, and there's about two hours and 35 minutes of singing, basically. Um, it, it was hard to take this movie seriously. I mean... For everything, it, they're singing. Somebody's about to die, they're singing. Uh, people are fighting and singing. It's just, I, I, it was laughable to me. And, and to be honest, I didn't really enjoy the songs. Uh, I didn't think Russell Crowe sang well at all. Uh, Anne Hathaway was probably my favorite part of the movie. Uh, wish she was in it longer. Spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, it, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it looked, it looked amazing, but... I just wasn't into it. I just I, I can't take musicals like this seriously at all. And this is supposed to be a serious movie. And, and for I mean for every little thing they're singing and it's hard for me to pay attention to the story when it's all singing. And I actually fell asleep through a little bit of it, but you know, some people are going to like this, some people are going to hate it, and I was in the majority that hated it. So I don't know. If you want to check it out, check it out. I mean, it looked it looked amazing, but that's about it. Uh, this next one, to be honest as well, I didn't hate it. Um, it was cool, but it's a watch once only movie, and it's Lincoln. Uh, to be honest, it, it was a little, slightly boring. There's not much going on. It's just a lot of, you know, tr debating and 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 trying to get this bill passed. Uh, I thought all the scenes in the court where they were arguing about this bill, was hilarious. And, well, I shouldn't say hilarious, but it was very entertaining. Uh, I wish there was more of that, because that's when it got the most intense throughout the movie. Uh, it's just the rest was just a lot of talking, and, and it was cool to see how everything looked. And it had a great cast. I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis was amazing as Lincoln, but it was just a lot of talking, and... and there's um, Sally Field and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who's my favorite actor, but didn't really have much to do here. Uh, and there's uh, Tommy Lee Jones. And, I mean, it, it looked, it didn't look stunning, but it looked good. But this is a movie I know I will never watch again, so I, I can't really recommend it. I suggest renting it because I can't see anybody watching this more than more than at least twice, and they probably wouldn't watch it twice in one year, so. Uh, this next one, I absolutely loved. I, I thought it was so intense. And it wasn't as much action as I thought it was going to be, but it was so intense still. And it's Zero Dark Thirty. This movie was amazing. And the funny thing is, uh, for a movie that's supposed to be super gritty and uh, you wouldn't think had would have amazing picture quality, had fantastic picture quality, I actually found this picture quality looked better than these two movies, to be honest. 
It looked amazing. Uh, the story was so interesting. It was so intense. Uh, a lot of this I didn't really know, so it was really fun to watch. Uh, and, and, and when you watch a movie about, you know, something d disastrous that happened to the country and the fact that I was around to see it and, mem and old, was old enough to remember everything that happened, it's much more effective, you know, when you watch something like this where you weren't really around, though it's factual, it's just, it's, it's, it's not the same because you weren't around, but this, I was there, I remember all the feelings, and it was just such a, it made me enjoy it more, just because I was there, basically, and uh, I thought Jessica Chastain was amazing in this, should have won Best Actress in my opinion, although I haven't seen Silver Linings Playbook, I thought Jessica Chastain was amazing in this, awesome, awesome movie. This next movie, I actually this next movie I actually saw in the theaters and I absolutely loved it and I knew I had to own it and it's This Is Forty. You cannot go wrong with Judd Apatow. I love every single thing he does. I love how he does comedies, but he adds a little heart to it. It's not just gross out humor throughout the entire thing. Uh, I know a lot of people s said uh, you have to be forty to really uh, relate to it, but I don't think so at all. I, I there's a lot of things I related to in this movie, and I, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. You didn't have to be 40 to understand the jokes at all. I thought there were so many amazingly funny moments in this movie that it's just, it's it's a must-buy. I, I love the cast. I love Paul Rudd. Um, Leslie Mann is always great. And uh, it's just, a lot of the the cameos were funny, had a lot of funny scenes in it. For example, uh, the scene with... Um, the girl from Mike and Molly, who was also in Bridesmaids, Melissa McCarthy. This scene right here, absolutely hilarious where Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann are brought into the principal's office and they're there with Melissa McCarthy, who plays a mother of another kid, and they uh, Leslie Mann had gotten into it with her kid, and it's just them talking, and it's hilarious. This is a must-own. Pitch quality was amazing, and it's long, but it's awesome. This next one you know because I made a video, an unboxing, and it's uh, the movie I made called Secret Window. Just joking, but uh, I don't know. I watched it and I couldn't see what everybody says that I, that I look like him, but whatever. Um, it was cool. It was a cool movie. Uh, it's, a, it's a writer who, uh, uh, wrote, who, who wrote this story that this guy claims that he stole from him and it's just him stalking him. Um, it, it, was, it was cool. It had a twist ending. Uh, it wasn't my favorite movie, but I liked it. I just liked seeing Johnny Depp do something not period piece related or dark or gothic. It was just it was just cool to see this, but uh, uh, it, it was I would rent it. It's not it wasn't my favorite movie. This next movie I absolutely loved, uh, and it was Red Dawn. This was so good. I have never seen the original, but this was right up my alley. I loved it. Basically, how um, I think it was North Korea. Uh, they, they've sent all their troops down to the United States to take over uh, all these different neighborhoods and it, it's a neighborhood this one well this one neighborhood it's focused on and it's a bunch of kids who are trying to protect their city and their homes so good this is one of those movies I wished was like about two and a half hours but it was only like an hour and a half if even uh, it stars a lot of upcoming stars uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, Josh Peck Josh Hutcherson uh, Adrian Pilecki, Isabel Lucas, uh, it was so cool. I know this movie sat for a while, but I, I don't know why. This movie was so much fun, so much action, uh, straight to the point. Because I, mo majority of this of this Blu-ray update were two and a half hour long Oscar movies, and it was nice to kind of get away and watch something just fun, action oriented. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. I absolutely loved it. And last but not least. Uh, for those who have watched my previous videos, knows that I love Victoria Justice. Um, I just, I just do. I think anything she touches, I will watch and support. Uh, she's, she's the type of person that I think you, your kid could look up to, and it's fun size. I know. I, I think somebody had mentioned before that they were surprised I hadn't bought this. I actually did. It's just I didn't get around to watching it till basically two days ago, or yesterday actually. Uh, I absolutely loved this movie. It was so good. It was it was a Nickelodeon movie, and I have to say, this is the raunchiest Nickelodeon movie I've ever seen. I, it, I'm really surprised that Nickelodeon 
attach their name to this because there's a lot of cursing. It's it surprisingly raunchy. I just I couldn't I couldn't believe it. Um, it it's just basically about Victoria Justice's character who uh, is uh, out in Halloween with her brother. They're going trick or treating and he gets lost. And the whole movie is basically her and her friend who's played by Jane Levy, who I think is phenomenal right here. She's in the upcoming, or in the movie that just came out, the, the, the man, the horror movie, the one, uh, the remake. You know which movie I'm talking about. It's the, the Sam Raimi one. I can't remember it, but she's in that upcoming movie, and she's in Suburgatory, and I think she's phenomenal as well. Um, she's, big things are going to happen for her. But this movie was really fun. It was just a cool kind of teen movie. All these things that go wrong. I cannot recommend this enough. I know you're going to be like, but it's a Nickelodeon kids movie. It's really not. This this is for adults. Or at least for teenagers. Late teens, I believe. Because there's a lot of cursing in this, which is surprising. But definitely pick this up. Probably my favorite movie of the, of the pack. I know it's kind of it's a little biased. But definitely check it out. It, you'll be surprised. Anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this Blu-ray update. I should probably have one in maybe another two, three weeks. We'll see. Thanks, guys, for watching. Check out my Instagram. I'll post it down below. It's allstarme2891. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time.